Hey Internet, Adopted Mike here, and this is the Titan Dual X holder. This is, you can tell, is a PCI bracket uh, dual fan kind of mounting system. You can take a look here. Here's a uh, diagram of a couple of configurations that this thing supports. Then over here we can see dual fan design, a couple of the marketing stuff there and it's compatible with 60, 70, 80 and 90 millimeter fans and there's a good look at the box I picked this up at frozencpu.com for about I want to say about 25 bucks and there's even a fan speed controller uh, that's along there on the side and then we have some accessories that's in the box as well too. But anyway, let's just uh, see what's inside. And I already cheated and unboxed this off camera because I wanted to play with it a little bit before uh, um, before I did my description. So anyway, I got to mess around with it a little bit before I did the video so I could kind of understand what this thing is a little better. And then so anyway, here it is. Just like it looks on the outside of the box, we got some thin fans here that look like they're uh these must be 92 millimeter fans it looks like. And then you can see they will pull back to the included Y adapter. Oop, let me get back on camera here. And then we've got the fan controller and this actually plugs into the power supply or the uh three pin header on the motherboard and then it allows you just with the dial here so it's actually eh, it's decent looking it's uh... It doesn't you know eh, it's not bad it bends a little bit but i mean inside of a case i'm sure it's not going to move much after you secure it down to the bracket uh... we'll play with that a little bit later but it does feel it's not heavy enough that it bows downward when it would be installed like this in the case so yeah, so I think it's a, it's a pretty cool little deal. Let me get my little portable power supply out, and then we'll uh, mess around with it a little bit. Okay, let's give this guy some power. I'll just connect it here to 12 volts. And spinning away. So this is on low here. It's pretty much silent it's not moving a very fast and then we'll spin it up to high and see if we can hear how loud it is even on high I can't hear it over the other computer running in my office it moves some air it's not spectacular um, I would I can still feel I can just barely feel the air out here so that seems to be about eight inches or so but as you move in closer it does have a, a fairly good airflow. I mean you gotta remember too we're also dealing with a, probably a ten centimeter uh, in thickness fan so I think that uh, this is uh, yeah this is pretty cool and I suppose even still um, it says you can mount other fans on it so that might be something to try. I can loosen the uh, the bolts here and the screws and I'll uh, remove these fans and then we'll look at uh, installing um, some other fans on here and and then take a take a check although one thing I will mention off the top of my head here it looks like if you went with a 25 millimeter fan you may have some issues mounting it but of course I suppose you could just use fan screws from back here inward we'll find that out real quick but it could become too thick and then it, this already if you can see it's one slot but it already extends out this way so it's already extending out into the next slot down um, so if depending on what's down the next slot this thing is certainly going to hit it but when you put a thicker fan then for sure this the fans are going to actually hit uh, the card, the next card down for sure. So, for an SLI setup or something like that, this may, well, this probably will not work in that because of this thing here alone taking up two slots. But we can uh, mess around with it in, and I'll put it in one of my builds and we'll take a look at it later on in the video. So, anyway, for now, I am going to disassemble this and um, we'll take a look after that. 
And now I've got the fans removed from the brackets here so we can see a little bit better that it's basically just a screw and then a little, uh, I mean, a nut, I guess, with some plastic on it to make it easier, you know, so you don't have to have necessarily like a wrench or pliers on the other side. You can easily just use your fingers to hold it, so that's kind of nice. And also, I guess I missed earlier, we have a little hardware kit, and we also have the instruction manual. And we can see here that basically the hardware kit uh, is going to have the brackets here to install the fan that way. And it kind of goes through how to do that, separate it off there. And then you come up here, put the brackets on, and then attach the fan. So that's kind of how that. So we'll go through that real quick as well, too. But anyway, we can see here how this works. Um, you know, your different fan sizes will fit somewhere along into here for the smaller fans and uh, the bigger fans and uh, yeah so pretty simple design uh, looking at it though I've noticed being that this is metal you would really want to make sure that this side of it doesn't hit anything like the back of a graphics card or something as well too and short it out so uh, definitely would want to be careful of that being that it's metal and also it doesn't appear that it's going to hit the motherboard at all, but it just is another thing to be uh, careful of if your motherboard is different. I can't imagine, I mean, with the distance that you have between here and the bottom of the bracket, I, I don't think you'll hit the motherboard, but we will want to confirm that as well, too. Uh, I did think that it could be adjustable here, up and down, but it definitely has hit the max point up here and the max point down here. So I think um, we can mess with it a little more. I don't know if it, this is a pivot point here, which I don't think it is. But I think even if we, that was a pivot point and we were to change the, um, the distances here, I think then the slots wouldn't line up with the fan holes. So, yeah, it's kind of um, different. Uh, I see what's going on here but it isn't nearly as customizable as I thought I thought we'd be able to move this up and down a little bit and even maybe move this way a little bit to extend it out further but uh, it doesn't appear that we're going to have that luxury unfortunately but uh, anyway uh, we'll keep on moving along let's try a couple of different fan sizes in there so we've got a couple of different fan sizes to play with here um, Obviously, these are what came off, which I'm assuming are like a 90 millimeter. Well, actually, no, they're uh, the bolt holes are aligning with 80 millimeter bolt holes. So this is just a 92 millimeter fan with 80 millimeter mounting holes. So a couple of different ways to look at this. Um, we can install the fans, yeah, like this way on the back side in pushing or pulling configuration and then for these thicker fans uh, we'll have to use I mean unless so, yeah, you could get in there I suppose it might be a little difficult but you could get in there with that bolt with that nut but it might just be easier to use a standard fan screw and then just go through to here to tighten it down um, it's a little yeah you definitely have to play with the positioning up and down to get the uh, the holes to line up correctly but uh, definitely isn't it isn't impossible for sure you just gotta kinda mess with the positioning a little bit and then everything will magically align like so and uh, so you could even put it depending on the space you have in your case you could put it like this pushing towards a graphics card you could put it like this pushing towards a graphics card uh, the thicker fans are going to be harder to work with and that's why I also have some little thinner fans this is a uh, uh, doo -doo -doo, this is an 80 millimeter uh, fan by 10 and then that'll work a lot better as you can see here um, if you were to mount it this way, it doesn't exceed the thickness of the PCI bracket. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And then if you've got room, obviously, you can mount it this way too. 
I uh, have even this is a 60 millimeter fan and a 60 millimeter fan fits on here as well too although I think it may be less effective um, another option I suppose if you mount them unorthodox you could maybe get some at different angles and maybe you could even get three depending on how you did it possibly even two I guess if yeah you could you could do one even off to the side here so you could get three fans on here and just have one dangling over the edge uh, keep in mind you would need to split this out more and I don't know I didn't see anywhere about how much wattage this can handle as far as the fan controller goes but I mean you could always just use something else of a splitter to get three fans on oh yeah I'm sure very easily we could get three fans by the time you get them mounted correctly oh yeah you could easily get three so there is a little bit more flexibility than I thought in here and then um, I suppose depending on how crazy you want to get by installing these brackets here I suppose you could it has you relocating this over to here but I don't see why you couldn't just do it this way and then just mount a fan on the two or with just two mounting points I'll show you what I'm talking about like this here and then just not have the bracket um, so you could still you could actually if you really want to get crazy the way I see it is I think you could get four fans on this I think you get one two three across here and it would extend out a ways and I then I think even just mounting you know just the two ends here I think you could get another fan possibly depending on how you do it possibly even a 120 millimeter fan blowing down or pushing up over a graphics card so you could really get creative with this let me see if I've got a 120 fan so here's just a 120 fan it's a thicker one um, but you definitely can't get a 120 millimeter fan on the end here or anywhere without I mean you'd only have one bolt holding it on which I wouldn't recommend um, even if you went down here I think you get too much vibration with only one bolt holding on but you may be able to with the use of these uh, brackets yeah you might be able to get a 120 millimeter fan kind of funkily mounted on here um, Let's see eh, yeah I suppose you could it would be a little funky but you it, it appears that you could get a 120 mounted on two screws you may get some vibration out of it but um, depending on the quality of the fan and obviously how the RPMs of the fan too I mean if you run it at full bore yeah I think you could I think you could creatively get a 120 fan over the top although it's probably better suited more to get a smaller fan but but just by positioning these a little differently along the track uh, I think you could definitely do it but this ends up being a little more customizable than I thought I'm gonna go ahead and mount some fans on here in some of the config uh, the configuration that I just discussed about attempting to have four fans across and then one fan pushing down so I'm gonna attempt to do that off camera here and uh, hopefully I can be successful um, anyway I will be right back so using, um, what, as you can see here, uh, random fans that I had laying around, I mean obviously to do this right you would want to make sure you had all of the same fans, but I've kind of created this little Frankenstein monster here, uh, definitely probably not how this device is, inten is intended to be used, but nonetheless a very extreme version of what this device is actually capable of. Like I said, I doubt the fan controller here will handle the wattage drawn by these fans. Maybe if they were all low wattage fans, but I uh, definitely wouldn't put the load on this fan controller for fear of uh, burning it out. But you could still pull these back to other motherboard three pin headers you could wire it off with other or direct well or you could go right like for example this one can go right directly to the power supply depending on what you want to do with it or if you have another fan controller you could control it with that as well too but 
anyway yeah so kind of an extreme scenario here depending on you know how it fits in the case as well too this probably isn't going to uh, to fit along here um, but yeah so it's kind of a <laughs> kind of a ridiculous thing but that's a look at you know an extreme usage definitely not how the manufacturer intended it to be because this bracket would have come off here this fan this would be gone and this X bracket would actually be up the top of here like in the drawing uh, firmly securing this fan but uh, you know us uh, PC guys, we tend to like to mod things to our liking and use things out of um, their intended purpose. I mean, um, in my opinion, it happens a lot, and here is a great example. So now let's put this inside of a case, and we'll take a look. I'll probably, I will, re you know, take my Frankenstein monster apart when I put it, and we'll go back to the stock configuration when I uh, put it in the case. And here would be a typical example of how this would work. So we have our GPU, obviously there's no motherboard in here, but I've secured the GPU. So we have our GPU that would be mounted here in the motherboard, and then this particular uh, blower would just blow fresh air into the GPU. Probably more effective on dual fan GPUs or other, you know, I don't know if the blower style. I doubt this thing's going to make, you know, an extravagant difference. Um, in temperatures, but you know, with airflow, any little bit, well, excuse me, any little bit of airflow generally doesn't hurt anything, so definitely would work out there. I suppose, depending on what you were doing, this could be if it was downward, you know, you had the other one going here, pointing down, uh, that would work as well, too. Probably not in this situation, like I said, because this is a blower style, you would probably want a more open cooler. Uh, just depending on how the airflow works with uh, the graphics card. Or, for example, this could be used the cooler RAID card. Uh, I never even thought about that till now, but RAID cards typically run hot, and not all of them have uh, fans installed, or, or some of them have underpowered fans installed. This here, underneath a, or, un yeah, underneath a RAID card, blowing air across the top of the RAID card, that might fit the bill. That, in my opinion, would probably be better than it blowing on a graphics card, in my opinion. Um, unless you're a heavy overclocker with graphics cards anyway and the stock cooler just doesn't make it. Um, or this could go um, in a system without a graphics card I suppose and it could blow air across the top of the motherboard and help keep the other components cooler as well too. It's kind of a interesting product. It may or may not have any benefit depending on the situation. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out as well too um, in this, uh, in the Y cable that's included, only one of them has the RPM sensor, so that is good. So you uh, actually will get this one here. You can see it doesn't have an RPM wire, so you will actually get a very good RPM reading to the motherboard. Some uh, most of the time, if there isn't. A, if there's two or more RPM sensors going back to the motherboard, the motherboard will just not get the RPMs at all, or they'll be weird, random, um, too much, too little, not at all. So yeah, the fact that it doesn't have it, you're only getting one RPM sensor from one fan pulling back to the motherboard, so that is something to think about too, so you don't have to, uh, usually what I have to do is I end up having to cut one of the wires here but they've already uh, thought of that for us so that is cool so anyway that kind of um, that's kind of about it really and it wraps up the video on this dual X holder from Titan like again I got this at frozen CPU uh, one of my favorite websites to uh, go to and I think like I said I paid about 25 bucks for it so it's kind of a niche product um, but it could serve a purpose for someone out there Anyway, if you liked the video, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and tell me you didn't like it. And in the comment section below, let me know what you think about this. And as always, thank you everybody for watching.